Girl, I can't lie. Hi, this is Chi Chi. I'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine, so I hope you enjoy. So, I'm in the shower. Ooh la la. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I actually filmed this video like three weeks ago, and I don't remember what was going through my head at this moment, but I do remember that this was um, after I've like had this slick back for about like a couple days, and I was washing my hair for the first time in a week. So the first thing I do is lay my head down and I just make sure I get all the eco styler out of my hair because here's the thing when you wash your hair like regularly like like standing up straight the eco styler runs down your back and so that when you actually get out of the shower and like wear clothes it like sticks to your back and makes it feel weird so that's why you have to always bend down when you're washing eco styler out of your hair uh, so i do that and then i use some shampoo and try to get all the gunk out of my hair i had a lot of eco styler like i said before so i had to really get that out of there um i focused on the scalp really because that's where all the gunk builds up and i kind of just put the leftover shampoo on my hair then i rinse that out and afterwards, I use this conditioner. It's from Cream of Nature. Most of the products that I use regarding like conditioning and shampooing is from Cream of Nature, mainly because it's cheap, and I just don't have the money to spend on like conditioner that's like fifteen, twenty dollars. Then I use my white girl brush and I detangle my hair while conditioner's in it. It's just easier for me this way. Um, yeah, it's really nice doing this. Anyway, so then after like five minutes, I let the conditioner like get out of my hair. I like rinse it out and stuff. And after that, I usually use this deep conditioner. I actually got this recommendation from Chizzy Duru. Not personally, because she doesn't know me personally. I wish she did, but she doesn't. She used this in one of her videos, and I was like, oh my god, I want it. So I got it, and I just put it on my hair. I kind of did sections, not really, but like, whatever. Okay, so that's kind of how I look with conditioner in my hair. Hair is very, cur very, very curly. Then after that, I just put a plastic bag on my head and I sit under the deep conditioner for like 30 minutes, but I didn't show that. Okay, after that, I rinse out the deep conditioner and it's time for moisturizing and twisting. So this is some kind of my hair when it's like wet, but not like dripping wet. Then I use my white girl comb, or white girl brush, I meant, and I brush out my hair. Um, I do this in sections, very, very, very small sections because it's just easier to work with. Then I use this thing. I think I use, where did I use this? Oh, it's because I later um, blow dry my hair. That's right. So I kind of use that as like a heat protectant because I'm later going to be blow drying my hair. Then I use this cream therapy thing from the same company that I used the deep conditioner from and I put that all over my hair and then after that I twist and I do that throughout my entire head Okay, so now that we're in the video, I think it would be a really good time to give this um, disclaimer. Um, obviously, you guys know that I am not a natural hair expert. Um, I wouldn't say I'm terrible, but like, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement. 
Um, so if you do have any natural hair advice for me, um, it would be really nice if you commented it down below, but please, 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 I'm begging you, please be nice. If I'm reading it and I feel like there's some sort of like harsh tone or something, I'm just either going to like delete the comment or just like not listen to what you say. Um, even though with this routine that I have now, it's pretty solid. I've been doing it for the past couple of months. There's always, always room for improvement. So if you see that um, I could improve on something or if you want to recommend a certain product for me or if you have like a video idea that's like surrounded around natural hair that you want me to try, just comment it down below. I'll be reading. I always read the comments. Um, so yeah. Damn, this joint is long. I don't know why I didn't just cut all of this stuff out. But anyway, if you guys have any video ideas for me, any video ideas, please don't say sibling video because a sibling video is coming. I know I've been saying that the sibling video has been coming for like six months now, but like I actually am like dead ass this time. It is coming, so don't say siblings. But if you have any other video ideas for me, leave them down below. I know a lot of y'all are saying vlogs, but I just don't think my life is that interesting enough to be vlogging. Like, it's just literally me going to school. That's it. I literally don't do anything else. I just go to school and get that education. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> I guess I should start narrating what's actually going on. I'm just, you know, sectioning my hair putting some moisturizing creams on it and then twisting it up because it just makes it easier for blow drying later. I don't always blow dry my hair, just letting you guys know, but um, whenever I'm going to do some sort of like high puff hairstyle, I usually blow dry my hair because my hair blow dried is just way, way, way easier to deal with than my hair when it's like regular you know when it's like shrunken up and stuff hey shrinkage is all i have to say Ooh, i'm finally done finally hey travis scott anyway okay finally now it's time for blow drying so first thing i do is just take the strands of hair out of my face i take one section I brush it out. It usually has this like really really nice curl pattern to it. Maybe I should try a twist out one day because mm, it might turn out really well. Then I use this a blow dryer and I start to stretch out my hair and blow dry it. You know I was debating whether I should lie to you guys or tell the truth but I think I'm just gonna tell the truth. I know you guys don't want to hear this, but I have this shit on high. Like, <laughs> no wrap, no cap. I put the setting on high. I put it on high heat, high pressure. It's just the only way to get my 4C hair straight. Oh my god, I was reading my comments one day, and somebody had the audacity, and I mean audacity, to tell me that my hair wasn't 4C. Like, if my hair doesn't look like the depths of Africa, then I don't know what to tell you. Hey, hey curl pattern, hey curl pattern, hey curl pattern. Oh my God, guys, look how I am over that one nice curl. Talk to me nice, talk to me nice. Anyway, I just continue the blow drying process. This usually takes me about like 20-ish minutes. Yeah, and yeah, oh my God, I just can't believe I got my hair this straight. I remember before when I tried to blow dry my hair, that joint would never ever be straight. Like my hands would always be hurting and it just was not a fun time. But like we really just come full circle. No, not full circle. Cause that means, that means that we're in the same place. That means I went from a 180. Hello, hey math.
we're already on our last strand and I'm just about to blow dry that. Then after I blow dry my hair, I usually start to style my hair, but I didn't show me styling my hair in this video because this video is kind of just washing and like doing the stuff that you do after you wash, like conditioning and like not conditioning, but like moisturizing and stuff. So um, yes, this is my blow dried hair. Hashtag one, almost two years natural. Hello. And that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content from me. I post twice a week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.